The Pan-African Law Union and the East African Civil Society Organization wanted the court to declare that the decision of the Burundi's Constitutional Court in May 2015 violated the spirit of the Arusha Code and the Constitution of Burundi. They also sought a declaration to the effect that the Constitutional Court violated the articles of the ESC Treaty and wanted the regional apparent court to make an order to quash and set aside the ruling of the lower court. Today, the East African Court of Justice ruled in favor of President Nkurunziza and the Burundi Court. The Constitutional Court clearly applied its mind to the background of the Constitution's promulgation, duly acknowledged and tested the Arusha Accord against related foundational laws, such as that country's electoral code. It took due cognizance of the political situation that prevailed in Burundi at the time. We feel the court uh, has played its role in deciding uh, based on the treaty, but at the same time I'm thinking of the, of the consequences. We deem it just in the circumstances to order each party to bear its own costs. Nelson Indeki, representing the applicants in the case, said he will consult before a decision is taken to appeal the ruling. The same court is in the process of hearing a case filed by lawyer Malema Birizi and former leader of opposition Winnie Kiza that challenges President Yoweri Museveni and the Parliament of Uganda in the amendment of the constitution to remove the age limit provision for the presidency. So now it's one, it's a one case. So there's Mabirizi, there's also the members of the parliament, so it's a, it's a joint consolidated preference. So Mabirizi now is part of the members of the parliament preference. Nelson Indeki is also part of the legal team representing Mabiriz and Winikiza in the case in Arusha. We are coming up for filing affidavits and also in future maybe we are going to hear the witnesses. The outcome of the Burundi ruling sets a precedent on what could come out of the Uganda case against the removal of the age limit from the constitution. The ESC court is expected to resume Mabiri's case in February 2020. Jingo Francis, NTV in Arusha.